Moving on to losses by group. I'm going back to water losses, losses by group. The procedure explained in the previous function will set the same value of unit loss to all pipes in the system. This is a valid approach only if all parts of the network share similar perimeters. For example, if house connections are uniformly spread or non-existent, maintenance level is similar all around and residual pressure does not widely differ. If that is not the case, then you preferably want to go and set up your network via these groups. These groups are defined as before. You could go to data, select groups, and then create your groups. Just to show you the current groups in the network. These groups will be presented when we go back to water losses, losses by groups. We've got the group name, the length, which is the total length of pipes belonging to a group in kilometers, the average head. This is the average residual head inside the group these will be values from the latest time simulation. Alternatively, it will default to 45. Looking at losses, these are the daily volume of losses inside a group. Again, these values will be from the latest simulation. Connections, this is the actual number of connections inside a group if the connections were previously inserted, otherwise calculated from connection density as I explained with the ILI functionality. Using this information, Civil Designer calculates, again, your UARL. If the current losses are zero, then the ILI will default to a value of six. If I go and change my ILI values, let's go and make this eight. Look what happens to the losses value color. It changes to red. It indicates that the values need to be recalculated. Making applicable changes. A good value, for example, is 6. If I now go and select Apply ILI, it will use the values that we've just gone and specified. It does the hydraulic analysis several times in order to adjust according to our specified ILI. Alternatively, what I could do is go and specify different losses. And again, those values will change to red. And then I'll apply the losses volume that we just specified here and you'll see then that the ILI value will be updated instead. Depending on which one you'd prefer to use, you could either specify the volume of losses or the ILI values.